Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome to the channel. I hope everyone had a good day, good week so far. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite coins, Matic Polygon. I call it the poor man's Ethereum. Um, there's many reasons why I like this coin and there's many reasons, or some, I should say many, some reasons why you, know, you should have some reservations about the coin as well. But overall, let's go through it and let's see what the final verdict is on Matic and if it's a good investment. Let's get into it. So the heat map here is showing that uh, you know the overall crypto market um, is pretty much down. We're chopping sideways. Bitcoin's down about 0.7%. ETH still up a little bit, 1,600. Um, but overall, there's a sea of red, some green in there. I see near protocol. We talked about that a couple of episodes back. Um, you know, so it's a mixed bag. Nothing to uh, to go crazy about. Overall, we're still in a bear market, so we can expect you know good days, bad days, and sideways action for for a while. Um, but it's a good time to DCA. That's what I'll be doing into your favorite coins. So overall coin market cap. Let's take a look at the market today. Um, the gold, global crypto markets, uh, 1.3 trillion. So down 0.17%. Um, Nothing too crazy. People are still interested in crypto. Although all the retail investors are pretty much out. But people like you and I, we're still in it. And we still see the future. And we know where we're headed. So um, looking at the market here. Um, nothing major, no major downturns. Uh, looks like Solana's down 12% seven day for the seven day. Doge is down 14%. Cardano's down 14%. Um, there's an issue with the fork with Cardano. Um, I'm going to talk about Cardano in one of my episodes. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments. Um, and overall, let's see here. ETH down 9%. Bitcoin down 7.9% for the seven day. Um, so basically your bear market type activity. Today, so Polygon, Polygon, sorry, Polygon Matic. Let's talk about this coin here. Um, so the founders, we have Jhanti Kanani, Sandeep Nalwal, and Unurag Urjan. They were the original founders. And then they added on Mihalo Bil Bilijak. I might be ja um, jacking up their names, but doing the best I can. Um, so in 2017, Nalwal, Urjan, and Kanani founded the Matic Network. All three were crypto developers prior to finding uh, Matic. And Mr. Bajalik, like I mentioned previously, was added in February 2021 when they rebranded from Matic Network to Polygon. So um, it's an Indian software company called Polygon Technologies, and the development of the network is coordinated by the Polygon Foundation. So social media, you know, if you've seen any of my past videos, whenever I look at a project, I want to look at the traction. I want to look at the adoption uh, as well as the technology and see if there's a future in my investment. So Matic is, does, you know, we'll go through it, but you'll see they have a lot of that. Social media, they have 1.6 million followers in social media. Um, I looked at, um, what was it, Kadena? I looked at it in my last video and they weren't, you know, at the million mark just to compare. But Kadena, not to say that I'm, I'm bashing it, I still think it has potential, but we're looking at something that's established and has traction, and you see the difference. So uh, the investors, they have a lot of investors. Mark Cuban, as you know, from Shark Tank. Um, I listed Almeida Research. Um, you know what they're about. They're, you know, with Simon Banker Freed. And, you know, Animoca Brands. Um, Animoca Brands, they're affiliated with the Board, board, board Ape Yacht Club. Um, so Coinbase Ventures. So a lot of you know, high, uh, high evaluation, high type of investors here. So what is Polygon? Polygon is a layer two solution for Ethereum. Um, its main use case is to help with scaling issues and the high gas transaction fees for using uh, Ethereum. So it runs parallel to ETH in comparison as far as transaction per second. ETH runs about 13 to 15 TPS versus Polygon up to 65,000. So you could tell, especially during the bull market where Polygon had a, a big use case when ETH was heavily used for NFTs and DeFi and all of that, gas fees were astronomical. You know, to send $50, you may have to pay $200 just to send that. The value case or use case for Matic is, you know, it helps with those fees and the, the fees are nowhere near that and the transaction happens quicker. So basically, uh, you have multiple scaling solutions, including proof of stake chain, uh, Polygon Edge, uh, Polygon Avail, and four different ZK rollup solutions all horizontally connected to each other. ETH is basically like Elon Musk and Matic is like his vice president, his branch managers at the car dealerships 
or car pickup locations. So basically, they handle the day-to-day -day operations, all his underlings. But if it's something big or some oversight, that's when ETH comes into play. They take snapshots of the different transactions and make sure everything runs smoothly. So another good thing about Polygon is they, they boast on their website that they're eco-friendly. And we know that a lot of projects are moving from proof of work to proof of stake for that one. One of the main reasons why that's happening. And, you know, they show here that compared to some of these big tech companies, you know, Microsoft, uh, Deloitte, PayPal, you know, where they rank as far as their emissions go. ZK Rollups. ZK Rollups is the future, I believe, as far as the new tech, especially in the new bull run uh, that's coming up. I think ZK, ZK Rollups projects will be pretty big. Um, according to one of the founders, Mr. Nawal, Polygon's other co-founder, this solution will slice Ethereum's fees by 90% and increase transaction throughput to 40 to 50 TPS. ZK Rollups. Tokenomics, which is what I'm big into that too, because again, I don't like inflation. It suppresses the price. So let's take a look and see what we have here. So the initial rollout for Polygon, um, the founders get about 41%, 22% goes to the investors, and about 35.5% goes to the ecosystem. So if we look at the circulating supply, they have circulating supply, it's going to be uh, 8 million i'm sorry 8 billion currently and the total supply for matic is going to be 10 million i'm sorry 10 billion so 10 billion versus 8 billion that's currently out there right now and it's unlocked periodically and the vesting schedule as far as when all the total supply is supposed to be released should be in uh 2025 so here you look at this graph total supply 10 billion and overall you know gradually it's going to be released and about 2025 is when total supply will be released into the market. All-time high for Matic was last year, December, around Christmas, believe it or not, and that was a price of $2.87. Um, currently, it's in uh, 80 cents, so it's come down considerably, but a lot of coins have come down during this bear market, so that's nothing to be, um, nothing to, to be, be worried about. So adoption, if we look at the adoption, 100 active validators. 135 million uh, unique addresses and 4 billion staked. So those are very, very good numbers. I like that. Ecosystem, the ecosystem is a lot. I mean, they have a lot of partnerships and we'll get into that later on in the video. But if you look, they have partnerships with pretty much a lot of people, a lot of projects, and there's a lot of developers flocking to this ecosystem. So that's a good thing. DeFi. DeFi, they have a big mark in DeFi as well. You see Ethereum's king when it comes to DeFi. They have overall 35 billion. Uh, however, Polygon's nothing to be loud, laughed at either. They're at 2.12 billion. So 2.12 billion as far as state goes. That's higher than Avalanche, Solana, you know, L1. So that's impressive. And that just shows the relationship with Ethereum and uh, Polygon. And I like that a lot. That's a plus. So overall, this is an article I saw on Coinbase um, just saying that Layer 2 can take East market share when it comes to DeFi. It just said if more users um, migrate to L2s and those L2s require their own tokens to facilitate transactions, that can potentially reduce the staking yields to validators who will earn less on those net transaction fees. If that discourages staking on the platform, that can increase the size of ETH liquid su circulating supply, possibly hurting ETH's prices. ETH merge. This is a big thing. People have been thinking, well, you know, I know that Polygon helps with scalability and transaction fees, uh, but what if, you know, ETH 2.0 comes out, there's no need for Polygon. What's the use case for it? Uh, ETH came out and the ETH Foundation came out and explained that the 2.0 release that's going to happen next month, supposedly, will not impact its scalability and TPS. It still remains the same. It's just one of many stages before it gets to that level. So Polygon will still be needed for ETH. Um, here it goes. The merge means that Ethereum will be more environmentally friendly like us, but it will not lower ETH gas fees or increase its speed. So basically what I just said. So news, a lot of news circulating around, um, you know, Matic. So crypto exchange, Gemini rolls out staking for Polygon. So Matic, believe it or not, um, wasn't being staked. They, were, they weren't offering staking rewards on Gemini. Now they are. Um, as you know, it's on Coinbase, all the major exchanges, you can get Matic there. Whereas some of the other coins that I talked about previously, still adoption isn't there and you can't get those coins as easily. Uh, another Shark Tank investor, Mr. Wonderful, Kevin O'Leary, he's 
also allocating his uh you know some uh some funds in his portfolio for polygon so he recognized that it's a good project Terra, when that whole debacle happened, a lot of his developers went over to Polygon, and that's helping grow that ecosystem. Uh, as far as apps go, decentralized apps, uh, Polygon hit 37,000, 400% this year. Partnerships that Polygon has, DraftKings, you see here, Ticketmaster, uh, Adobe, Stripe, Meta. So DraftKings, NFT Marketplace, I know that you, I don't know if you guys have seen that, but Tom Brady has something on there. Um, where it's basically like, you know, NFT uh, memorabilia cards with different athletes. It's pretty cool. Um, so you have Mercedes also has a partnership with Polygon. So it chooses Polygon to launch a new blockchain based data sharing platform called Eccentric. Game Flip teams up with Polygon Studios to make blockchain accessible for game developers of all sizes. Polygon selected to participate in Disney's accelerated program. So what is this, you may ask? So it is basically building on top of Polygon's Web3 technology. It's one of six projects to be selected into this program. Um, program will focus on NFTs, metaverse, and artificial intelligence. All the future. And, and this is what I'm seeing. I have kids and I believe in the metaverse. And I'm going to talk about that in later videos, but... They have this thing called Roblox where, um, you know, these kids are basically on it. And it's the metaverse. Some of the games I don't see that they're playing. Obviously, the graphics aren't as great, but that's what it is. And I definitely think metaverse is the future. Uh, Google Cloud, you know, um, it's a, they say it's a partnership, but there's a relationship there. It's nothing major. Um, just basically, you know, using Polygon for the Google Cloud. Nothing too crazy about that. Adidas um, and Prada announced its first kind open metaverse and user generated NFT project to be launched on Polygon. So my thoughts, the pros, crazy adoption, as you see with Polygon, DeFi, NFT market, um, you know, the developers flock into the ecosystem. Uh, another pro, another pro is the ZK rollup. That's the future technology, Web3. It's all on Polygon. They're all they're buying up the ZK projects and they're focusing on that. E2.0 is going to, you know, when it happens next month or maybe if it's not delayed in October, but whenever it happens, it's going to bring a lot of buzz to ETH and ETH is going to have a lot of activity and who's going to be there to help ETH? Polygon. Deflationary, there is mention of, you know, part of the transaction fees will be um, burnt during each transaction. As far as percentage goes, I don't know what that is yet, but they are working on trying to make that deflationary. Cons, uh, the founder Bajalik was interviewed recently. And he did mention, I don't know if it was a slip up, but said, you know, Polygon is like a security. And when he said that, I said that we don't need to hear that because Gary Gensler and his uh, security team, that's all they're looking. They're trying to find and label these type of crypto securities. And we don't want that to happen. Um, e 2.0, when obviously it will be completed at some point. And then once that happens and increases TPS, it solves the gas issues. Then the use case for Polygon may, may, you know, may be an issue. But I don't see that happening within the next bull run. Um, and the high supply, 10 billion, 10 billion is a lot. It offsets it by, you know, this burning that they're talking about and the high use case. A lot of people are using the coins. There's a lot of turnover. So that helps. But it's still 10 billion is a lot. And it's based in India. So India is not the most crypto friendly location. Um, you know, they're talking about high taxes for uh, crypto. So, you know, that's something to think about. Overall, I like product. I like Polygon. I think it's the poor man's Ethereum has tremendous use case. A lot of it you know, checks off everything for me. Um, adaptation, uh, use case, and I, I just like the coin. And another thing I want to talk about as far as the investors and the team selling coins, historically, they've been holding on to the coins. So if you have investors and people that were early in the project not really selling, they see a future in the, in the coin. And if it's enough for them to stick with it, I want to put my money into that as well. This isn't like Litecoin where, you know, the man, the, the, the founder sold at the top of the market for the two bull runs ago. That's not good. Here, the team is kind of sticking with the project. They're still with it. They still believe in it. And that's all I need to know. So, guys, if you like this material, please hit that like button. Um, be, if you want to be notified of my next video, hit that bell. I'll be notified of the next video. And lastly, if you want to see content like this, continue to see good stuff. Please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. You guys have a good night. Stay safe. Until next time. Later.